Okay, uh, let's go straight into the uh, the data released over the European session. Okay, well, no real data of any of any note to speak of today, but uh, all eyes on this uh, this, this eurozone um, crisis meeting, this meeting of the great and the good, to hopefully try and put the. Greek issue to bed. Well, I think overnight they were saying the, the, the Greeks have, have blinked and now it looks as though both sides have blinked at the yeah, same time. Yeah, I, I, to be honest I think you, you try and play down the height. We've never really seen a concrete set of proposals have mm. we, or, you know, official documents. Um, we know that, they, that there's plenty of, uh, of uh, sort of waters across or bridge if you like between the two sides. Um, what we do know is that um, the ECB has yet again extended the emergency lending facility uh, to the Greeks um, as, because capital has just been pouring out of Greek banks and they 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 upped it up. I think now they've lent them 85.1 billion euros so far. Um, there's some suggestion on Reuters that they, they've extended it further um, again today to allow the Greek banks to keep it operating. Um, Cyprus is meant to be meeting with um, the IMF head Christine Lagarde and ECB chief Mario Draghi and then at 6pm the Eurozone finance ministers get together. I guess that the Bulls would hope that that's to sort of ratify a deal. Well I think with Mario Draghi in the picture finally that's he's the he is the backstop isn't he really for the whole um, ECB or the Eurozone financial situation. He is, yeah, it's his problem. This is the first time he's come into the picture, isn't it? It is really, yes. Um, he, he's obviously got the final sign off on that from the, from the financial point of view. Having said that, I think it's the politics that will really, you know, I think that's where, where the, the ground has to be given. And yeah. uh, that, that's really down, not just to the finance ministers, of course, but probably to the heads of state of the, of the Eurozone countries. Nonetheless, um, you know, the big guns are there and we, we may yet see a resolution. I, I'm sceptical. Uh, let's not forget, of course, that Greece faces uh, two very important payment deadlines on the 30th of June. So um, the clock is ticking down and getting ever closer to that uh, to that implosion point, perhaps.